Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to Pucks and Paperbacks where I talk about queer sports books and I like to create fun bookish challenges. Today I'm sharing with you my March book haul and my April library haul. I only bought two books in March so I'm gonna talk about them here and they are the next two books for my Beverly Cleary collection. In my March wrap-up I talk about how I read The Mouse and the Motorcycle by Beverly Cleary and it made me want to collect more of her books so I went to a new bookstore that is in my area. It is literally right around the corner from me which is awesome. It is a used bookstore so I ended up getting two of Beverly Cleary's books for four dollars including Dear Mr. Henshaw and Ralph S. Mouse. I really want to read more of the Ralph series because I really liked The Mouse and the Motorcycle so I was really pleasantly surprised that I was able to pick these up and now I have somewhere to go if I need to find more childhood books because that's coming. <laughs> so those are the two books that I bought in March. I really didn't buy a lot of books in March at all because I was using my library. So I ended up picking up four books from the library. I'm definitely going to be going back to get some more for the Disability Readathon. My KBR will hopefully already be up. I'm not sure. I'm waiting for the weather to be nice because I'm trying to film it outside. On a whim I picked up Getting His Game Back by Gia D. Canine and I actually have never heard of this book before but it has a basketball net on the cover so I knew it was probably about sports and so that's why I picked it up. <laughs> um, and so this is interesting and actually ironic. It says Perfect for readers of The Wedding Date and Get a Life Chloe Brown, which I think is funny to me because I really didn't like The Wedding Date. So I hope I actually like this more than The Wedding Date. So besides the fact that this is about an athlete, I really wanted to read this because it has depression representation. It says, Gahil Sarda went through a rough patch last year, but now he's nearly back to his old self. All he has to do is keep his stuff in the past. Real men don't have depression and go to therapy, or at least they don't admit it. So I'm really interested to see how the mental health representation is done because I don't really see a lot of characters, an adult especially, who are men and they talk about being depressed and having mental health. It's really important and I'm excited to read this. I've never read this author before so if you have definitely let me know in the comments if you've read this book or any of the author's other work because I'm really interested to see how this works. So I'll let you know in my wrap up but I am really interested to read this one. Last month I read a lot of middle grades so I went over to the juvenile fiction section and picked up two books. First being my most anticipated release, Drew LeClaire Gets a Clue by Katrin Bury. I read her essay on We Need Diverse Books. I'll have it linked down below. This is essentially a Nancy Drew retelling about a girl who has asthma and the author also does and she talks about being chronically ill when she was a kid and just how that affected her life. It made me want to pick up the book and so that is why we're here. I'm really excited to read this one. Then I ended up picking up Front Desk by Kelly Yang because I want to read this series. Three Keys recently came out and I really wanted to read that so I want to read the series before I get to that book. I have had this on hold on my Libby and I just haven't had time to pick it up so if I have the physical book Sometimes that's a little bit easier because I physically see it and I know that I need to finish it. So those were just some of the middle grade I picked up. Then the sole reason I went to the library was to pick up my hold for The Silence Between Us by Alison Gervais. I'm reading this for the Disability Readathon. This is a YA contemporary with deaf and cystic fibrosis representation. I really wish I could tell you why I picked it up. I have no idea. I think it was just on my Goodreads shelf under Disability Rep so I was looking through it to see what to read for the readathon and I ended up picking it up. Let me know if you've read this and if you've read any of the books that I mentioned in this video. So that was my March book haul and my April library haul. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts are. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and feel free to hit subscribe and if you're returning just check because sometimes YouTube unsubscribes you. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.